Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this fourth series of relaxation oil painting. I really appreciate you guys being with me to share some time and watch this short creation here. As you can see, I have a black canvas, 18 by 24. I have painted it with gesso, black gesso, and allowed it to dry, which gives it the black color. And then I covered it with some alizarin crimson because we're going to have a fireball today. We're going to use a lot of reds and yellows. Very, very few colors. Let me show you my palette. All I have is titanium white, bright or cadmium yellow. We have red here, alizarin crimson, some black. I think that's about it. If we need any other colors, we can add them. But I wanted to do something super kind of a fiery red, fiery bright. And I really appreciate you guys being here to watch. This is the first in the fourth series of this endeavor here. Let's start with some bright red. Let's fire into this canvas and see what we come up with. I have covered the canvas as well with liquid clear which allows this wet on wet technique to work. As I say in all my paintings, I'm not a Bob Ross. Bob Ross was one of the masters of this. I am just some guy that likes to paint once in a while. But let's see what we can come up with in the style and inspiration of Bob Ross. Let's start here. I don't I want a lot of sky today. So I'm gonna come right in with boom. And I'm just crisscrossing here. Putting in some beautiful bright red. Ooh, we're gonna have a fiery sky today. see as I go out toward the edges it becomes darker and darker. Now I'm going to switch. I, I paint right and left handed so I'm going to switch to both. That way you can see kind of what I'm doing here. Ooh, maybe we have some nice clouds here. Continuing our way up. Maybe there's another layer up here. Just a really beautiful, interesting, dark, contrasting sky. Contrasting sky. And while I'm at it, you watch what I do here. You just double this up with the water underneath. Pretty simple here. And maybe have a little red here and there. Painting should go pretty fast today. Bob Ross could paint his in 28 minutes flat. But of course we know, I'm just grabbing some crimson, we know that lucky for him, he had three paintings. He had a preliminary painting he did to sketch out the composition. And then he had the one he did live on camera. And then he had the one that he did later for his books. The one that was photographed much later on. It creates a very interesting reddish brown up there, doesn't it? And then we can put a little of that down here as well. Nice brown color. I like it black and little brown here. Now let's take a clean dry brush here, a two inch brush, give it a little beat as Bob would say, beat the devil out of it, and let's go ahead and hypnotize this and kind of soften it. I really want this sky soft here. Lift up these clouds. Soften them, blend them in. And just kind of swirling this. Pulling it up, getting the color in. Pushing that sky back, see? Now 
Isn't that beautiful? How quick you can make a nice sky. So cool. Isn't that fast? This technique can go super quick if you want it to. Now I'm going to go in with a towel here and I'm going to pull some of this paint off in order to brighten this area. So I'm just going to pull some of the red off. You'll see why I did that in a moment. I'm going to go into the bright yellow. Perhaps this is a sunset. And I'm going to attack here. Yeah, there we go. It naturally picks up the red and creates this brighter orange color here by the horizon. Now we're talking some light. Can you see it now? Yeah. Just adding a little bit of yellow really changes it. Boom. Let's keep this right here. Center out, center out. It's like a nuclear explosion, doesn't it? Go in and clean off the brush here. How's everybody doing today? It's good to have you with me. What you up to? Relaxing? Hopefully, that's the name of the series. It's not stressful oil painting, it's relaxing. Clean off with some paper towel here. I always have some paper towel happening. It's been a good week. We've done a lot this week. At my martial arts school, which I run full time. Been doing that for, gosh, 15 years now. Despite the pandemic, we're in the COVID times, we survived. A lot of small businesses have not, sadly. You might know someone in that boat. A lot of people on unemployment, but thank goodness we have a system like that. When we fall back for no fault of our own, have to close down for a while. Fortunate we live in a country that can do that and help us out, right? Never look a gift horse in the mouth, they say. Now, we could leave it just like this and just continue on. What I want to do is continue to blend. I want to continue to blend here. I really want this softer. Get a hair, just kick it off the edge. Oh, that's cool. Kind of scary in a way. Now, can you see any composition yet? What do you guys think we're going to do? I mean, you could leave it like that if you wanted to do some some modern type of art there. Just leave it. Let's go in and create a few more highlights on the clouds, a little bit more prominent. I'm using paint thinner to clean the brush. Beat a rack. Wiping it on some paper towel. Okay, let's grab my palette. If you want to paint, you want to pick up one of these palettes. This is a clear plastic palette. Of course, it's covered with paint, uh, but it was clear plastic. You can make one if you have a saw or something, but you can buy these relatively inexpensively. Let's grab a fan brush. Call it a fan brush because it looks just like a fan, literally. Let's go into some of that yellow and let's highlight just a bit more here. Let's put some, especially right here, I want some, so 
some light on this cloud here. swirling in and then I just lift it here soften it up Clouds are swirling in the uh, ocean wind. Ooh, that's cool, yeah. And then I very lightly, very lightly get rid of some of those strokes there. Okay. Very fiery. Beautiful. I'm going to leave the top quite dark. I want this to be dark. This is not one of your bright sunny days, spring days, grandma's picnic type of paintings. This is Dante's Inferno, isn't it? This is uh, something dark. Cleaning off the brush one more time, then we can get into the bottom here. Now you have to ask yourself, do we want to make this a landscape or a seascape? Or in some cases a skyscape? Not a skyscape today. I'm going to make a seascape. All right, brush is clean. Let's go in. Clean. And let's begin to add in. I'm going to experiment with something, you guys. I don't know if this will work. I have no idea. No idea at all. I'm wondering if I can put a sun here. Can you guys see that sun? It's hard to see. And then can I kind of distort it here and push it back? Yeah, I want to I want to fade this out, see? Just kind of pulling atmosphere. Yeah. And Just using the yellow. Horizon. There we go. That's pretty straight. Let's continue down here. Bright red, making this kind of orangey yellow. And let's move in here. Start to fill this in. Some crimson and black. We add a little darkness here. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It looks like kind of the, uh, if you guys remember the cover, 
cover art. It was an alternative cover art to Jaws 2. It had the shark fin, but it had a dark sunset like this. And then it had a really cool shark fin in the middle. It kind of reminds me of that. It's like I wouldn't want to swim here at night with the sharks. It'd be scary as anything, wouldn't it? And I'm just smoothing out these lines. Kind of mixing. Very easy, very easy to do. Let's make this a bit darker over here. I want the horizon dark as it comes in. That's better. Let's change to right handed here. There we go. See, so with these dark canvases, you add light and then you can take the light away and start to add dark again. And we can go over this as much as we want. Let's clean that brush off. Do any of you out there paint? I hope. I hope you that you experiment and paint once in a while, whether it's acrylic or oil like this. Oil is sometimes easier to work with because it doesn't dry. It takes this will take a good week to dry. Oil is extremely slow to dry. Acrylic is super fast. Within seconds, you have to always add water and stuff. paint thinner here. Let's go into some white and create a little bit more of a gleam here. Adding white. Where the brightest parts of the waves would be here. Letting all those beautiful colors mix together. Larger waves toward the foreground have more detail. See? Now, using my palette knife, believe it or not, because I really want thickness on this one, go into my palette knife with some yellow. Drag it out here. Take a little roll of paint. I just want to touch. I want to touch a couple of these here. little gleams of light from the sun on the waves here. Hope you can see that, just touching lightly. Maybe a little bit here. 
here. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just having fun. I hope, hope you're not too bored with this. Nice. Love it. The knife gives it more depth, more texture, thicker. As you come through, it gets wider. More and more yellow here. Good. And I'm going to go back with some white. And I want to make this just a bit brighter here. Hypnotize it a little bit. Maybe watch this. Watch this. Pull this out. Maybe there's a, look at that. There's a cloud that goes across the sun here. Ooh, that's nice. Very uh, it's like Florida. Clouds across the sun, pulling it. Ah, what a difference. That's beautiful. Let's put one or two here. I don't know. Let's put a couple more. Kind of stratus clouds here. Just the thin ones. Far away, but they're there. Whisper quiet, whisper quiet. Yeah, can you guys see the atmospheric change? Maybe that's a bright one there, it goes out. Alright, let's come down here and blend a bit. Let's go into some bright red. Keep this dark red here. No blue in the ocean today. Kind of nice colors. Now I can see already that I need more dark down the bottom. Let's go clean this brush. dark in certain areas between these waves I want more dark and it shows more depth that's where the great whites hunt. right in between the waves here 30 yards out yeah that little darkness under the wave creates this cool motion. Better. It's 
crisscross strokes make a nice wave. Ooh, yeah, softening. Better. Leave that in case I need it. All right, now as I said before, we can leave that as just a simple sunset, but I am going to add just a little bit. I don't know if this will work. Let's try to add here. Watch this. Take a two inch brush, dry, clean. Pull in some of the red and orange here. More yellow. Don't know if this will work. Let's try it. See if we can pull in here some wetness, okay? So by pulling down here, make the beach nice and wet. That easier having wet beach. Do you see the beach now? Kind of reflects the sun. You can go in and add a bit of white, a bit of yellow. Kind of pull in. You can take this a little brighter where the sun hits. See that? Pull it down a bit across. Right under the sun is the brightest. Then we can go in and add stuff here. We can make a few stones if we want on the beach. Maybe there's a stone here in the foreground. Maybe there's a stone here. Just using straight black, but it makes kind of a grayish brown when it mixes. And we can put a stone right over here. Here's one. See? Just looking from far, that's all. You have a different view than I do. Maybe we have a little land right here that comes in. Maybe there's a... Yeah, that's it. Looks like a little mass of land, a little peninsula comes in toward the front. Maybe there's one over here. Maybe there's a mountain or something that comes down. Can you see how we're carving in some land? get a bit more crazy. This is my painting. I'm going to have one here. Oh, one up here. Oh, look at that. Pure silhouette. See it? Ah, that's nice. That's really cool. Look at that. What? What 
are you doing? Well, I want one here too. Maybe it's a volcano. See, it's your world. Create what you want. That's awesome. Let's put a line here. Take this fan brush, put a little highlight. Touching that rock with some red here, a little bit here. A little bit of highlight. Now, let's take a filbert, which is extremely small, a little filbert brush, and I can go in with some yellow. Mountain highlight. Good. This one will be pretty bright because it's in the front, catching the light from here. Cool. I like it. Then you can go back in if you wish, get more black and just re darken a couple spaces. A little more crimson here. 
I can go in and kind of shape the highlights because I didn't like a couple of them. Go back in and reshape a few. This is almost a purple color down here. Kind of take that off. And I'm going to fix this a bit. A little more purple. A little more crimson up here. Mid-tone. I have black on the left. A little more crimson here. Yeah. Makes it a bit more red and brown. That's it. Okay. Let's take this. I don't like this line. That's better. A little red here. Now you could argue right now, is this a, is this a seascape? Or is this like a desert? Kind of looks like something out of Dune. Sure, whatever you want, whatever your mind sees, let it be that. Too subjective to, too subjective to hold down. Definitely see this being a dune scene. You need giant sandworms. mountain so I'm gonna change it change it it's better I like the red still with me. All right, that's good. Alright my friends, I think that's good. I like that. Very different. Very fiery, dark, spooky. Again, is it a seascape? Is it a desert? I don't know. I haven't named it yet. I will name it. But I love just using four colors. That's it. Red, yellow, white, black. That's it. Changes the color of a room that easily. Alright, I don't want to overwork it, that's good. Alright guys, 
that's it for today for this first episode of the I don't know third or fourth season I can't remember series a lot of my paintings have sold so if you're interested in buying one of these let me know I don't need the money what I do with the money that I make from paintings I just put it back into supplies I buy canvases I buy paints I buy paint thinner Canvases are anywhere from $15 to $200 for a canvas. Not cheap. You got to get a good quality canvas. Don't, if you want to practice, buy canvas boards, but you want something with some tooth to it. This canvas was probably about $25, $26. But any proceeds, so to speak, that I make are right back into painting. I do not need the money. I make enough money for my music for everybody. Speaking of music, let's do a little plug because it's my show, right? I have a new album coming out. If you're watching this, it's August of 2020. I have a new CD coming out this month. It's all cover songs. I've never done that before. I've done 33 albums of music. And this is the first one where I've done covers. I'm just cleaning my brushes and chatting. All cover songs. So uh, I'll put a picture of the cover up for you guys so you can see it and you can order that. I don't know whether it'll be available on Amazon or Spotify, I don't know. The music industry keeps changing, so it's really hard for independent musicians to do too much. It's very difficult. But I will put a link, and then I would appreciate any support you can give me. There are, I think, 37 songs on this. It's a double disc set. Maybe 38, I can't remember. All cover songs from the 70s, 60s, and 80s. I think that's about it. I didn't care much for music after that too much. So those of you who are 35 and older will know these. You know, songs like Africa by Toto. Uh, Go Your Own Way, Fleetwood Mac. Ario Speedwagon. Uh, the Mamas and the Papas, Bee Gees, uh, the Eagles, I mean all kinds of stuff from the 80s. Obscure stuff, Matthew Wilder, uh, Corey Hart, Chris Isaac, Mark Knopfler, I mean you name it, I did a lot of guitar playing. Beth, the song Beth, those of you who know uh, the song Beth. I mean, all kinds of different songs. Love songs, rock, kind of medium tempo, little little country flair, a little here and there. But uh, I did all the vocals, most of the background vocals, guitars, and of course I had a lot of musicians play on it. I didn't do much of the drums at all. I did a few overdubs of drums few overdubs of bass, piano, a couple song, song by Billy Joel, a couple songs by Elton John, if you like Goodbye Yellow Brick Road or Your Song. They're on there, they're on there, my friends. So 37 songs to choose from. But getting back to this, I hope you enjoyed this quick episode of Relaxation Oil Painting. My name is Todd Norcross and I thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope that you pick up your paints and start to paint in this method. And this isn't very good, so I hope you'll get better than this quick. All right, my friends, you guys have a great evening, and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.